Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Now, the scare tactics always work in any given population of organisms, especially the ones that, you know, can understand what fear is. And in any group, uh, the majority of the members of the group are weak, are cowards. That's a given. So, when you have some people in control of the um, information and they have an agenda that they will not share with the population, they will maneuver the majority of the population into doing something by spreading fear. So what happens? Well, uh, it's just a coincidence that uh, COVID has two more variants right now that tripled its percentages within the COVID uh, cases. CBS News let us know and also they tell us that um, we should be afraid and no worries we're going to have someone ready to remediate that for us. So let's go and see this little article coming from CBS News and it says COVID variant BA 2.86 triples in new CDC estimates now 8.8% of cases. I'm pretty sure it's a coincidence, the fact that next year we will have an election. <laughs> Probably it's going to be like this and we're going to have all kind of uh, mandates, even worse than we had before. This is what I said before. This is what I'm going to say again. That was a test and they, it, it passed with, uh, how is that, uh, flying colors or something. Because the population followed it. Because why? Because you had the majority of the people, and the majority of the people are how? Weak and cowards. So they used that strata to infringe our liberties. That's how it was. And the guys were, why? For the common good. The common good. So the common good, they call it common good, they, in the name of the common good, they will infringe our liberties that we don't have. They're just temporaries, uh, you know, um, how do you call it? Uh, privileges that's what they are temporary privileges they can be given and taken whenever the government wants even though we know our rights don't come from the government they come from the creator but hey and someone who doesn't give you something actually cannot take it back because it doesn't belong to him to give you but these are technicalities that are not important what these guys want you to get scared go and do your little things over here wear your mask stay in the basement okay or drive the car with three pairs of masks while alone okay make some people some profit and be controlled by them that's what the, the whole thing is and let's read this article to see what exactly is going on maybe you know it's an outburst of uh, you know a disease deadly disease that killed already i don't know like 20 or 50 million people now, that's a pandemic, right? I think the pandemic is considered beyond, I don't know, 12% or 20% in the population. Something like this isn't a pandemic. And I'm going to look for, uh, for the definition. I know it's politically incorrect, but I will. We still have dictionaries uh, around us, even though they work on that uh, to change all kind of definitions. CBS News, COVID variant, that triples in New York and new CDC estimates. Okay. So I'm looking here and they say that nearly one in 10 new COVID-19 cases in the US are from this variant. The Census Center for Disease Control and Prevention estimated Monday nearly triple what the agency estimated the highly mutated variant. Variant's prevalence was two weeks ago. Now, among among the handful of regions with enough speci specimens reported from testing laboratories, this variant's prevalence is largest in the Northeast. My God, 13.1% of cases in New York and New Jersey regions region are blamed on the strain. Out of how many people? I always want to know. Okay, that's uh, uh, tripled. Out of five people? Out of 10 people? After 100? After 20 million? I'm concerned only when you, I see a high percentage. Now, when I see nothing over there. So I'm looking here to see in this article they tell us it's tripled, it, uh, this and that. I would like to see from how many people, how many people, um, let's put this, uh, got infected and more than that, how many people actually died. We'll get diseases here and there, but the point is, are they deadly? 
remain with things or no, we just come and go. That's what I care. Well, I had COVID and I'm not vaccinated. <gasps> Oy vey, hoo -hoo. Yeah, I had it because I knew that I'm not in that bracket of old sick people or sick people that would, uh, you know, succumb to that. It was a flu for about two days. <coughs> um, I still... <laughs> I have it right now. No, I have it for about two days and that's it. Now, I don't know what the consequences will be in long term, but I didn't take anything. But anyway, it's not about me here. I'm just saying this. I want to see how many people died. And then I know it's a pandemic or it's not a pandemic. And I will go to those numbers. So here we have this article. I wonder if they're going to tell us this many people died right now. So we can say how many people were infected. And it's not necessarily important how many were infected. What is the consequence, which is that? Let's look over the article and you tell me, together we're going to look. Tell me where you see a number like, I don't know, 5 million, 20 million. It's just percentages. But in order to know the percentages, you, know to know, you need to know the numbers, the exact numbers. If you don't know them, you can make the percentages. You see the BEA, BEA all over again, and blah, 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 blah. And that's it. That's the whole thing. That's the whole article. So now let's go to check out how many, I mean, what, how many people died in the previous, uh, uh, how, what's the pandemic and how many people died in the United States of America and see. So what I got, I got a difference between an epidemic and a pandemic. I couldn't find in the, they don't give a number or a percentage in a population saying, you know, if you have 15% of the population, uh, you know, die, dead, then it's a pandemic. Or if you have uh, below that is an, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, epidemic. Uh, the difference is the location. If it's a zone, a, a geographical location, it's an epidemic. If it's a global thing, then it's a pandemic. They don't give you the number. So if, if, if we hunt it, you find that all over the place, that is an uh, epidemic, like flu. Flu is an epidemic when it happens, if it's all over the world, if it spreads, it seems like. And I'm going to show you the, the closest, clearest definition of this is what's the difference between an epidemic and a pandemic. A pandemic is an epidemic that has traveled internationally. In other words, a pandemic is a simply a larger and more widespread epidemic. They don't, I couldn't find any any numbers in from here on is an epidemic uh, from there, there is a pandemic It's just if it's spread that was the definition given by these guys by health line i tried many many other and i couldn't find a number now what i found is this united states coronavirus cases this is world meter coronavirus cases were 109 million 518,696 cases right here Death were 1 million, 1.1, let's say 1.2, 1.2 million. So 1.2 million in a population of what? 330 million is not even 1%, not even a 1% in a population like that. How many recover this one? Don't give me that because of the vaccines. We don't know that. We don't know that. Why? Because you say, oh, uh, I, I, I caught COVID, but I recovered because of the vaccine. You don't know that. You attribute it to that. Maybe I recovered with, with no vaccine. So if I would have taken a vaccine and I would have recovered, I would have said, ah, it's because of the vaccine. No, you don't know that. That's the fact. So again, these guys are going to try to scare us. I'm not trying to convince anybody of doing anything here. I'm just saying that according to my observation and my understanding of the world and how these things function and work and what are the interests are and what the goals and who's who, what's what, I think this is another scare tactic for some to make it profit. And when we vote, vote via, I don't know, mail-in ballot. That's what I think it is, okay? That's, that's the minimum that I can give you right now. It's much more than that, but that's all I can give you through YouTube. That's what I think. I will not get anything unless these guys uh, do it forcefully. Forcefully meaning they're going to, I don't know, come to my house, uh, tie me up and uh, inject me. I will not take it. Um, I told my uh, government employee that I will not 
get a vaccine and they can uh, fire me if they want. That's what I said. So um, that's a direct, uh, uh, how should I put it? Uh, uh, I just share with you something. Anyway, here it is, my friends. Get scared and uh, go and vote and then they will do whatever they want with you because of the big interest with big money that put uh, and finance politicians to get over there and implement their uh, interests, not yours, but supposedly they let you, I mean, they let you vote. But when you have uh, both people or, you know, with a lot of donations from certain <clears throat> special interests, what do you expect? To listen to you or to them? I mean, if someone comes over here and says, move your car from that parking spot uh, because I said so, or someone says, move your parking, uh, your car from the parking spot for, I don't know, uh, $30 million, who do you think I'm going to listen to? Obviously, the second one I will, and I will, thank you very much, I'll do it right now. As a human being, you know, profit, cost, benefit. All right, thank you very much for being with me again today, my friends. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.